It is our focus segment on the show. Uh, I know I didn't, I didn't let out what the focus will be, but then it is something that is worth uh, talking about. And um, it's about the activities of uh, the Lagos State uh, Traffic Management um, Agency. I'm trying to look for, yes, Traffic Management Agency. They call them the LASMA. And then uh, yesterday there was a, a pretty ugly incident uh, somewhere in the Magana axis of um, Lagos State, where two lives were lost. And uh, the news that made the rounds was the fact that um, a, 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 a private car owner was being pursued by some officials of that agency in a bid to escape in the agency, uh, the men of the agency. Um, those two those incidences happened and two lives uh, were lost yesterday. Uh, shortly, I just have to play you, uh, just let you into uh, what happened yesterday. Let me give you a reel of uh, what really happened yesterday. But then, importantly, is the fact that we want to look at the activities of this agency of government. So we apologize for our international audience or our national audience. Uh, the, the focus is, uh, is um, Lagos specific because this is an, it's a Lagos state agency. However, uh, we could also look at the activities of other uh, uh, agencies that are state specific across, across the state. Just in case you are, wherever you are, uh, you are in the Doe state, you are in Kaduna state, you are in River state, Bayelsa. Do we have um, some state government agencies that are saddled with certain responsibilities, one of which could be uh, traffic uh, management and uh, road discipline uh, and I mean keeping uh, the environment clean and safe. Uh, if you have such, such agencies, tell us exactly how those agencies have carried themselves in recent times. Uh, but for us in Lagos State, Lagos State here, it is a, a last month, last month. Uh, there are activities to many uh, have been found wanting in recent times. I think we can even start by trying to understand exactly why that agency was formed. What uh, is the purpose of that agency of the state uh, government? Are they living within the, 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 the designated uh, responsibility for them? If you look at the screen right now, you can see the, the, uh, this was a sight and sounds of uh, what exactly transpired yesterday. Uh, this is a Ramatio video uh, that came to the studio yesterday. It's exactly what so that is the that is the car. It's a Honda Honda Accord. Uh, looks like a Honda Accord 2012. Uh, yes, uh, really really sad, really really sad experience in the yeah, on the street of Lagos yesterday. And I heard that this really caused a massive traffic along that axis. This was somewhere around the Charlie Boy Charlie Boy bus stop in uh, the Bagada axis of Lagos yesterday. However, the traffic, uh, you know, spilled uh, to as far as Oshodi. Uh, you can imagine the land that is over, over about three kilometers from where this incident happened. So we are asking you today the question on the show. What are your concerns about uh, the last mile, the Lagos State um, Traffic Management Agency? What concerns do you have about that agency. So, uh, do you think uh, they are doing exactly what they are set up uh, to do on the streets of Lagos? Or do you think that they have lost their relevance? Uh, are there things you think the federal the state government can begin to look at um, around that agency? We did hear that uh, the, the spokesperson for the agency had come to say that um, his men were not involved in that incident, that is a defense that they have come with. Well, if you, if you know otherwise, uh, do call us and let us know. Well, Peter Fowoyo is with me this morning, and um, we'll take him through the segment of the show, and the paper review segment of the show. Peter, uh, good morning and welcome to, to News Up. Thank you, David. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing very well. Uh, since you're the first person I'm seeing on the show this morning, yeah. Um, I'll say cheers to life, Peter. Yeah, exactly. Cheers, cheers to life. Yeah. Uh, yes, you saw that video. Of course, you heard about this, the, the incident. Uh, the, the, well, let's not call it the last mile incident right now because the agency have come to say their men are not, were not involved in that uh, tragedy that took place yesterday. 
but agencies of state governments that are saddled with certain responsibilities uh, could be traffic, could be discipline, we have the CHI, we have the last mile and all of this. How would you want to rate the activities uh, within Lagos State? Thank you, David. You see, um, it will be unfair to say that uh, they are performing woefully mm. because I have seen a situation whereby, you know, uh, where there is traffic, these men will move in and then they'll try as much as possible to ensure that there is free flow and then uh, people get to their destinations mm. on time. Mm. But you see, one thing that we have failed to learn over the years is that as security agencies, you don't have to start, you know, pursuing uh, an offender to the point of that person driving recklessly to kill innocent citizens. Much more people who are doing their legitimate job. Mm. Uh, you know, most times I wake up very early to leave the house. I see these Loma people waking up as early as 3 o'clock, 3 a.m., sweeping the streets. Mm. So if you have people who are dedicated to their jobs and then one reckless driver through the instrumentality of the state are killing them, then there is a lot of problem at hand. I think that security agencies need to you know, develop a situation whereby they don't have to run helter-skelter to apprehend an offensive driver. There, there, there is more civilized way mm. in which they can do their job without having to cause problem. Now, who is going to be responsible for the death of these people? And Lama, I mean, Lasma is coming out to deny this allegation, even though they are also culpable in this, because they work hand in hand with other security agencies. So they cannot, they cannot come out to say that they are free from what happened yesterday. Mm. Unfortunately, lives have been lost. Uh, apart from last man coming out to denounce their involvement in that uh, tragedy, I was expecting that perhaps the governor or the uh, commissioner for information will have come out to address the people because we are talking about lives here. This, we are not, this, these people are not chicken. They are not goats. Unfortunately, we've not heard anything from even government uh, uh, circle to either confirm or, I mean, appeal to the citizens that uh, they should please calm down and that they are on top of the situation. Mm. These are the things, if you remember, during the end of uh, 2020, I think, yeah. these are the things, these are some of the things that got the people angry. So if Perhaps the citizens comes out again now to protest about this. How are they going to contain it? Mm. So I think that government needs to, you know, overhaul their security system. We've gone past the stage of you running after people who, you know, are... are Perceived as offenders. Uh, yes. Hmm. You, can't, you can't be doing that at this time. There should be a modern method where you, you don't even need to start you know, running after them. All you need to do is just look at their plate number. Act or, and activate, activate whatever you want to activate. Yes. Yeah. But unfortunately, again, David, let me tell you this. You see, most of the plate numbers that you're seeing on our highways hmm. are fake. So to say, I had an experience some time ago. Uh, a commercial bus hit me at the back. And so 
Uh, we parked and we were trying to settle the issue. Unfortunately, the man just entered inside the his bus. His bus, and they ran away. And I took the plate number, you know, to say that okay, you, I will, you have something to hold on to. Yes. To track him. By the time I got to licenses office, the plate number that I thought I had belongs to somebody else. It was completely, in fact, not that of the commercial boss, but a private car owner. Hmm. So, you know, there are a lot of things, and I wonder what the VIOs and the road safety, I wonder what they are doing on the road. Sometimes they will say, you should pan them, then they will start asking you a lot of questions. But all these things, they are not getting it. Hmm. You know, what, what I've also noticed is the lack of uh, use of technology by these agencies of government. Yes. I know we have seen a, a bit of a shift uh, with the, the, the road safety, road safety, and maybe the VIO, because I know that um, the VIO don't necessarily have to run after you. All they need to do is just take your, your plate number or maybe the road safety and type it into a device and they know if your vehicle is licensed, they know if your, uh, if your license is expired, the vehicle, the vehicle license is expired. So, they don't have to run after you. But then I think we should expand. David, expand sorry the for technology. Short. Yeah. What you're saying, you know, you can only talk about that when you're talking about private cars. Or oh, oh, yes. Oh, for very true. You understand? Yes, for private cars. When, when it comes to commercial. Uh, but you, are, you and I know that in, in Lagos today, yes, the, yes. the law, the traffic laws are strictly for, 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 for private, private car owners. Cars. The commercial yes. car owners. And you know why? They are immune. You know why? Because, you look, let me tell you something. You see, most of these commercial buses, when they offend uh, the traffic, I mean, when they have uh, traffic issues, yeah. and uh, last mile police and what have you seize these buses, they end up buying those buses. The security agencies. No, that, 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 that's, uh, I am telling you. I don't know how factual that could be. I am telling you that. But I, 80, know, but I know those vehicles on, sometimes are auctioned. 80% of those commercial buses are being owned by security agencies. And that's why you see them driving recklessly on the way because they know that even if you apprehend, apprehend them, the owner of the bus, who is a security agency, will come and bail the bus. You, you find out <laughs> what I'm telling you now. 80% of commercial bus owners are owned by security agencies. And that's why you are seeing the recklessness on our highways. Extreme recklessness on our highways. These individuals don't obey traffic light. They don't obey traffic rules. They drive on one way. Yes. Begin to, why why do you think, what, what, what would have given commercial bus owners such, such the, impetus, com yes, such the confidence, confidence yeah, of, of driving through one way? If not that, he has a backbone. And apart from all this that we're talking about, you know, they have an arrangement where they collect money and take it to all these security agencies. So, you mean like the commercial bus or union? Or, or yeah, like, I yeah. don't, maybe the union, it uh, could be, uh, yes. Because, look, you just go around. You will see what I'm telling you. Where they are not supposed to park. To pick passengers. To pick passengers. They will park there. Because they have already given uh, the security agencies, they have already given them money. So, what, what are you going to say? You, you know, you know. So sometimes you begin to wonder the impurity with which this 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 gentleman do what they do. I mean, you are quietly waiting at the red light, and um, a guy just comes and you know zooms yeah. past you. Yes. And sometimes, in the glaring view of um, security agencies, they are not going to do they, anything. Exactly. But let a commercial vehicle do that. A they private, go, a, 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 a private, private owner do that. Yes. They the, come you, after you. You see, the, you see how they run after All you. All right. The phone lines are open right about now. Let's get your views uh, on the conversation uh, this morning. It is the People's Parliament. It is our focus on the show this morning. Okaro is our first caller from River State. Good morning, Okaro. Yeah. Good, good morning. Good morning. 
Yes, go ahead. From Rimas. Yeah, I think uh, your view about the issue of uh, commercial drivers being not part of uh, what are being regulated on the streets is correct, 100% correct. Another way to it is most of the politicians use this union of transport drivers to rig election and to Party, uh, to uh, make sure they get votes. So those people are untouchable. So the problem is not only from the security agents who are getting bribed from the union or who own some of those cars. Our governors, our politicians rely on those unions. That is one. Then the issue of last man, even in River State, we have what they used to call him and River this. They are all untouchable. The issue is when you ask yourself the question, State government will appoint people to go into those public spaces without training. These guys, some of them are politi political talks that were recruited as part of settlement for participating in the electoral process to favor them. So when they are on the road, they are, they are virtually hooligans who are being protected by the state. So the question you ask yourself, if state governments are not able to run LASMA or TIMARI successfully, how are they going to be able to run state police? Before you expose people to public uh, environment to either uh, control law or regulate, do anything, you should be able to know that these people are qualified, they are well trained. I will tell you, I've had a very rough experience with LASMA in Lagos who ran into my car started driving it and hit somebody with it. At, at last, he started begging. You, you will not see a policeman going into a vehicle to come and drive it. I'm not saying the police are experts mm. are good, but you see that those guys are well trained. Yeah. They're experienced that they know the law. All right. Last man does not know law. Timari does not know law. Mm. And the state government that employed them does not even give them this All training. Right. And All right, Okaro. Th thank you. Thank you for your contribution. More like an eye-opener, uh, talking about River State. Let's speak with Johanna uh, from Lagos, here in Lagos. Good morning, Johanna. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wake yeah. up. Wake yeah. up, Johanna. Wake I'd up. I'd like to speak from the angle of safety of those who sweep the streets. Uh, many years ago, one of my friends and I were debating. He was for using women or people to sweep the streets. And I was for using machines. You know, in 1975, I think, when I came to Yaba, when I came to Lagos first time, I saw machines that were used to sweep roads. You know, so even for efficiency and safety, in this um, 21st century, I think we should be using machines you know drive machines along very efficient and cost very little you know to sweep the streets some jobs now are too menial like even having a uh, fuel attendance in some countries you go you buy your fuel and you move so we need to rethink the way we are doing things good morning good morning you. good morning your honor thank you so very much uh, uh, I, I think we, we i don't think we are moving as fast as um, some other economies are moving yes of exactly. course the the no fuel attendant um, at filling stations is one that you see across Europe, you see across America, America. Uh, and all of that. I mean, you just you just go, you drop your coin, and you 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 load you load your tanker, yeah, yeah. you know. But then, um, some would say unemployment in Nigeria is what is responsible for having people do such menial jobs Look, and all of that. I, I I am one person who have always been saying that. You see, when you say there is unemployment and then you're trying to create employment and then you are creating jobs that are not even jobs in the first mm, place. That, that cannot take anyone home. Yes. Mm. It's, it's, it's wrong. You, right. so we have another caller. Okay. Let's, let's, let's listen to our caller from Mushi. Uh, Kende, good morning. Speak to us. Yes. Uh, good morning, Kende. Turn down the volume on your uh, television sets. You uh, need to... Morning, yes. you need to about the, issue of the, day. Uh, oh. the one I want to talk about is about this uh, closing of the market. Shutting up of the market. It is too rampant now, and they are paying any money. Any money. 
They are extracting every money from the market women. Okay. Come to Mushi now. You can't buy anything. And this is the time of festivities. I don't know what they want people to eat. There is, uh, the prices have gone up. Everything is hard. I keep everywhere. They are adding more problems to problems in Nigeria. And they, 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 they call them uh, state government. Who will pay that for? What type of government are we running in this country? All right, Kendi. Thank you. Thank you so very much for your contribution. That's another fresh angle uh, to the conversation. Um, one, of, one of the challenges that the Presidential Committee on Tax, on tax is having yes. is having to ensure that um, a few of these um, multiple taxations are eliminated. This is also a form of taxation that Kendi just talked about, where yes. people go to the to the market and they make every market to begin to pay a certain amount of money. And you know, the annoying thing is that these this collections are most times not documented. So you can't even tell if these monies are going into the, federal, the state government's coffers. Is that what even pains you most? Look, let me tell you something. There are markets where there are not supposed to be markets. Mm. If you come through Songo now, you will see people putting, you know, their wares. Yes. On the, on, the, on the highway. And local governments will come to give them tickets. So you are violating the law, but because you want to get, you want to generate revenue. You allow it. Yes, you allow it. And then you cause traffic and you become a nuisance on the way mm. to others. Mm. I think it's time for government to look at all these issues and do something about it. Yes, it is, it, is, it, is, it is indeed time for government to look at all these issues and do something about it. If you're just joining us, you're watching, it is this news of we are looking at um, the Bagada tragedy that occurred yesterday. And you can see how it is spreading, it is extending to other issues. But the bottom line is we're trying to look at the recklessness of some agencies of government. Uh, it, yes, it could be just of states' governments uh, that's our concern uh, this morning. Let's keep the calls coming. Let's keep the calls coming. It's important. You know, uh, we, we uh, you, you said something during um, your first introduction when you talked about the fact that, um, I was it you, was it a caller, that talked about the fact that if this is the attitude of these agencies of government, how will it be when we now run state police? Because there, uh, there's, there's the so much, who, or the first caller that said that yes. there, there is so much recklessness that you could see in the uh, in the hands of you could experience in the hands of these agents, agents, agencies of state, of state governments. I mean, I've also had an issue. We've had an issue with I've had an issue with Lasma back in those days, and the guy just the guy said the guy said open your car, and I opened the car, and he came in. I said you entered my car. I drove him from where he to. Over, I mean, he begged me to allow him out of my car. Exactly. And I, I did that. But then let's, let's speak with a caller from Lagos. Sunday, uh, good morning. Speak to us. Good morning. My name is Samuel. Samuel. I'm calling you from Pista. Good morning. I'm calling you from Pista. I want to report the issue of the uh, last man for Pista. The last man for Pista, the way they operate here yeah, is that they use this article to is short to. They will not use their van so that you will not move. So while you are driving on your own lane, you will not know that this is last man. And they go with the police agency. Before you stop, they will already overtake you. Mm. And they will not even you. Even if you are a new person in this area and you don't know your way about, for you to explain. And that is not supposed to be done. Someone that comes to an area a new and you don't know left to right, which is supposed to be the one to direct the person. And you'll be the one to take the person to the office. I can remember the last time my, uh, my boss came to visit me in the hospital. Why going back for Apple Junction? They stopped the man. The man did not know left to right. They took the man to their office, collected 45,000 naira from that man. And it's not well done for anywhere. The man was telling them, I don't know anywhere here. I just came to visit somebody. There's something to be done about this because every day, it happened for uh, uh, the Agatha Road. They kill somebody, see this class man. And the sea come back again. Government don't know nothing about it. Every day, killing, killing, killing. All right, All right Samuel. Samuel, thank you so very much. Thank you. Let's speak with Clinton. Uh, Clinton, good morning. Hello, good morning, sir. Yeah, speak morning. to us. Yeah. The problem we have, 
criteria is that the agencies are not compliant. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Okay, you know what's happening? You are listening to yourself from your television set, which is not um, right. I'll give you three seconds. Turn down the volume on your TV set. I've got, I've got it down. I've got it down. All right, speak to us then. All right, the problem was the they are not complying with the government. When you see them in the high you actually see them stop the public uh, 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 driver. They are only in commercial drivers. They are only interested in the private drivers. They are only interested in the private drivers. The commercial drivers, you hardly see them stopping them, no matter the reckless. So what they are interested in is to collect the money from them. You understand it? And the presenter in your office said it right. When you go to their collection centers, you see that all the most vehicles that they found out is um, the, uh, the officers are buying them. You understand the show? They're causing a lot of problems in the, in the, in the, uh, on the road. You see them before they stop a car, they will say in front of a vehicle on the high speed, stopping a vehicle. It is mm. improper. Mm. It is very, very improper. So yeah. they should know how they will compel the, the collecting money for the commercial drivers. All right, Clinton. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for your contribution. Let's speak with Baba Tunde from Lagos. Tunde, good morning. Hello, good morning. Speak to us. Hello, this is Baba Tunde from my We can hear you. Speak to us. All right. I think Tunde was also listening to himself from his, from his television. And um, uh, when you call, once the call handler says you can speak, um, you just a remote away. You can just press the pause, the audio pause on your remote, and then you can talk to us. You mustn't really listen to yourself from the TV. Listen to us via via your telephone sets. Um, let's speak with Isaac from Ikorodu here in Lagos. Good morning, Isaac. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, sir. Uh, what I just want to contribute as regards this issue of uh, last night. And especially the Dagada incident there. Yeah. I, I notice uh, the moment you give an average African man little power, they start misbehaving. And that is the nature of an average African man. The way the last man official and the little state government are aware of this, the way and manner they perform their duties, in fact, I've never seen such, even police are not even doing what they are doing. Even without, they are not carrying gun, but the last man officials are worse. Do you know if you come to a Kurudu garage, you will be hearing the commercial bus driver telling you, um, maybe they are going to catch you, they will have to catch you, they are going to pass through BRT, BRT lane, BRT lane. And they will pass through BRT lane, yes. and nothing will happen. Yes. They will arrest them. But the moment a private vehicle pass through that place, you will see them. And the way and manner they walk, and the worst is that the Lagos State government are well, they are seeing all these things. They will not say anything. What kind of government is this? And until people start protesting, people start seeing of protest against these evil people, call the last man. Nothing will happen. Thank you and God bless you. All right. Thank you so very much, um, Isaac, for your contribution. <laughs> I, I, I think the essence of of this conversation is to draw the state government's attention to activities of their agencies, agencies that they have set up. Uh, it's important that they either begin to call them to order uh, by training or retraining. I did hear, I stand corrected, they, they, I know they have mechanisms for punishing their members. I think I've heard where one, yes, one of them was, was punished a couple of weeks ago for, for some act. But then let's speak with this caller. Uh, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yes, I'm Florence. Okay. Please, I, I want to talk about the Bagada tragedy. Incident, yes. It, it's unfortunate what has happened. But it is even more painful that these people have not been paid their assets. October salary up to now. The MD of Loma, Mr. Badegeshi, since he took over, the man has been defaulting in the salaries of these sweepers. These two women that were killed, they have not collected their October salary up to today. I think it is wicked. 
And I think that the Lagos State Governor should do something about this. Since the new MD of Loma took over, they have not they have been defaulting in the payment of these people. This is a job that they do Monday to Saturday, Sunday, public holiday. I think it is wicked. As for last now, everything is within the purview of Lagos State Government. They need to do something about the conduct of this last man, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much, Florence. Thank you. Very, so very well said. Yes. Yes. Let's speak with the caller from Abia State. Abia State, do you have agencies of, of government uh, of the state uh, and uh, how are they conducting themselves? Uche, speak to us. Good, good morning, everybody. Good, good morning. morning. We, we, we have before, but uh, this present government has started again. I have, I have something maybe I will send to you that somebody brought to me that every morning, when you are driving out, you will pay 600 naira. A vehicle will pay 600 naira. A truck will pay 1,500 naira daily. That is what they tallied and gave to me. You see, the issue of this thing we are talking about, until we do a way progress, politicians are using them. After using them, they will create that kind of uh, agency for them. That is the problem. Any place you see many of them, do they work like a trained people? They are tough. That is the problem. Until we do our way, talk it. We can't get it right. God bless you, people. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Uche. Thank you. Um, listen to Uche and uh, Florence. Yes. Uh, we want to react to Florence's Yeah, it, it's, it's quite unfortunate that uh, workers are not being paid as at when due in this part of the world. That's not what is obtainable in other countries. Unfortunately, I, I don't know where our government learned this from. How can someone walk from, I mean, from uh, the beginning of the month till the end and you are not paying that person money, the wages? Hmm. And you expect that person to walk every day without stopping? And then you expect that person also to walk without cutting corners? Hmm. These are the things. That, come to think of it, how much are, even, how much are they, they even being paid? paid? that you cannot pay them and you are buying all sorts of things, buying yachts, buying jets, renovating uh, mansions and you can't pay your workers, it's sad. It is indeed sad, P Peter. Peter. Friday will be our last caller on this focus, um, Friday from Lagos. Friday, speak to us. Everybody in Lagos State, okay. So this can this like have happened to me. Last month collected seventy two thousand dollars from me. Happened that I, I'm coming from uh, uh, Mowe. They now drop. Then I now just pull one side. They are going shouting. Your motor is bringing fire. Motor is bringing fire. On my way, dropping one side. Then I'm across me. Scratch the motor cut my motor everywhere before I get to the destination, the contest of two dollars for me with Safa. Can you imagine what's happening what's happening in Lagos City here? So if Lagos City government cannot do anything about this, that means we are we are not going anywhere. Hmm. Yes, I thank you. Thank you, Friday. Thank you. Uh, we we are calling on the state government and um, leadership of those agencies to begin to call call their men to order is extremely very important. Uh, if yes. we must also attain the, the, the mega city status is one that comes with a lot of um, expectations and exactly. uh, Fergree and um, such um, on, 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 uh, on civilized conduct is yes. not one that should be associated with a mega city. Exactly. Uh, so this I think is also very important. Peter, your last word for the segment. Well, I, I, I just hope that um, we will learn from what has happened yesterday and try as much as possible to make adjustments, to make corrections where it is necessary for us to make corrections. I think the state government also needs to go back to the drawing board to see how they can make last man work effectively, efficiently, without you know having to compromise. Too many, without too many interactions with the people. Exactly. Yes. Because, I mean, how do you explain a situation whereby a last man will ask you to open your door no. so that he comes he into comes the in. car and then he starts negotiating with you? He does not even have the right to enter inside your car yes. in the first instance. Yes. He yes. doesn't have that right. Yes. 
So I believe that there is need for Lagos state government and all other state governments to try as much as possible to reorientate their officers, the officers so that they will know how to deal with the public. That is not to say that they are not trying. They are mm. doing well, especially where there are traffic. They are trying to solve the problem on the highway. But in solving the problem, don't come and create another, more problems. Yes, more problems. Yeah. All right. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much um, uh, for your Peter for your.